Hey, what's going on guys? Coming to you back at the garage. Uh, today we're going to be doing um, installing the wet brakes on a Kawasaki Prairie 360 uh, solid swing arm. Uh, this swing arm needed some work. Um, the bearings in it were shot, so we put new races in that. Um, need a new bearing along with um, an oil seal. And then there's a um, like a dust, if I can zoom in there. Uh, I may not pick it up. Come on, phone. Oh, well. But anyway, there's a seal right up in there um, that we had to replace also. But if you guys are wondering how the wet brake system goes back together, um, I will show you on how I figured it out. Um, first step is this collar that goes on the base. It has the ball bearings that go inside. Ball bearings don't really have a place. You just put them in the pockets um, and stick that down inside. Um, you're going to notice these two pins. These two pins here have um, two little springs. So keep in mind of those. Don't lose them. Um, first thing you're going to notice that you're going to do is you're going to take your bottom brake um, I guess it's not a pad. It's just a brake disc. You're gonna take these slot, these these slotted end, or not slotted ends, but the the two ends with the holes. One's gonna go at the bottom, and one's gonna go at the top. So what you do is, you just slot. Oh well, without. You got to do is try to do this one-handed too, so that kind of makes shit difficult. Um, hold on, guys. So we'll slide that in. If I can get this sucker in there. It sucks doing shit one hand. Man. Alright. Let me see something. What we're gonna do is just take this. Video quality is gonna be shit. I'm just tell you guys. Um one second. Sorry. All right, you're going to get your pins. You're going to put the base, the head, at the bottom of this brake. Um, almost a cam. Um, and then you're going to throw one of the wet disc brakes on. Um, clean these up as best as possible. Make sure there's no dirt and debris on them. Um, sorry about that. And I'm going to be placing these with the, the name facing up whether or not that makes a difference i don't know they're called dyna dynamax or dynax somewhere on that and then take another one and this one's going to have you're going to see two of these have there's not going to be a tab there that the one without a tab goes in between these two posts okay throw another disc on your name facing up okay then you take that other disc that doesn't have the tab throw that on there so all these are going to line up that's what you want you want all these to line up all right then you take your other disc throw that on there and what i try to do is kind of like kind of line these up as best as possible um you don't have to be perfect excuse for my video quality it's piss poor shit okay then you're going to take this is going to be your last disc you're going to take these two springs god damn i need really need another i need a camera stand put these uh put these little springs down all right y'all fuckers follow me okay then take the this clutch pack Put it down inside that. So what's going to happen is um, it's going to put pressure down on these on these uh, springs when you when you when you clamp the swing arm to the uh, rear drive shaft um, gear case. Um, and obviously you got to put your 
your seal on. You guys can use some like RTV silicone to seal all this up. Um, other than that, this rear end is going to be solid. She's got good bearings. Um, she's not loose. So hopefully that helped you out. Um, because I couldn't find one video to figure this damn thing out. So hopefully that helps you out, guys. Appreciate it.